let's briefly discuss the naming of alkenes. And it's going to follow the same rules that we learned about for alkanes and alkyl halides, uh, except in this case that the parent must contain the double bond. So this has to be part of the main chain, even if it results in a smaller than possible main chain. And we'll see an example of that with our second example. So let's look at this first one. We, uh, we number the carbons and the alkene gets priority. So really it doesn't matter what else is on the, the chain, uh, except when we get to more complicated structures in, in second semester. Uh, the alkene gets priority in this case, so we have to number from the right to the left in this case. That dictates the numbering scheme. We need to give the alkene the lowest possible number. And so now we have a two alkene. That's how we n name this alkene. It gets the lowest number. And so we have hexene. Notice that hexane becomes hexene. And we have two hexene. And we can even, uh, in some cases, describe the stereochemistry of this alkene. Uh, remember that we imagine our, our railroad tracks we look at the highest priority group on each side of the alkene. That's going to be those carbons. This is trans, or uh, better to write E, um, to describe the stereochemistry of this alkene. So we have an E2 hexene. And lastly, we have this substituent at carbon 4. Uh, that is an ethyl. So we start off with E in parentheses, then 4 ethyl. 2 dash hexene. The modern way of answering this is 4-ethyl-hex-2-ene. You can answer either way. Uh, I prefer this way just because I think it looks cleaner. Uh, but there are reasons that we do this, and that they, they become evident when we have more than one substituent that requires uh, a fancy numbering scheme. So either one of these is fine. Uh, I prefer the top one, but, but you can use the bottom one. So this is E-4-ethyl-2-hexene. Let's look at the second example. Here's our alkene that dictates our numbering scheme, and that must be part of the longest chain. So you'll notice that this chain is the longest chain present, but it does not contain the alkene, and so that's not going to be our longest chain. Our longest chain is going to go straight across, and we're going to number starting nearest the alkene. So now we have heptene, and we have a 1-heptene because our alkene's at the beginning. Then we have a 5-methyl and a, a substituent at 2. I like to just make a list of, of what I'm going at. Um, so at the 2 position, we have two possibilities uh, to name that. We can call it an isopropyl if we want to. Or we can call it 2 parentheses 1-methyl ethyl meaning an ethyl substituent with a methyl substituent at the one carbon of the ethyl substituent. And so we would number our substituent like this, and you can see that this methyl substituent is at the one carbon of the ethyl substituent. So you can use either of these. And of course, at our 5-methyl, we have a stereocenter, and so we need to establish uh, stereochemistry there. Carbon 4 and 6 look to be equivalent. We travel further out on the chain. Carbon 3 and 7 3 wins because it has more branches, or it has uh, more carbons attached to it than 7 does. So the priorities are, in this case, 1, 2, 3. Hydrogen's in the back, so we have an R. So we'd want to put R here. We don't need any stereochemistry for our double bond because that has two hydrogens right here. And of course, neither of those can have higher priority than the other one. So let me switch back to red. Let's write this out. So R goes in parentheses. We don't need 5R because there's only one stereocenter here. So once, the, our, uh, once our reader or colleague draws the molecule from our name, they'll realize that there's only one stereocenter, and they'll turn it into an R stereocenter. So R, we don't need 5 in this case. That would be superfluous. Uh, and then we would alphabetize. I'm going to use isopropyl and methyl. In this case, the iso is counted in terms of alphabetizing, whereas secbutyl or tertbutyl would not be counted. So uh, in this case, we have two isopropyl, 5-methyl, and then we have 1-heptene.
and of course you can write hept one een if you want to. Uh, I just prefer this way. And so that's how we name uh, this alkene. The alkene gets the lowest number. It has to be part of the main chain, even if you can make a longer main chain elsewhere. Uh, and then that dictates uh, the numbering scheme.